kitchen now. Well, over the last couple days, we've been prepping you for your uh, New Year's Eve, maybe in the bar with some cocktails. But today, something the kiddos can enjoy. Here with more, please welcome the pastry chef from Cedar and Stone, Je with the best name ever, Jessica Quiet. Everybody, I love Hello. it. Hello, hi Jessica. Hi, how are you? I love your name. Thank you. It's the best. Na What's your name, Jessica Quiet? I love that. It is. Everybody has to do a double take. It's great. Do they think you've it. made it up? Yeah. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. I love it. I know. Okay. So, what are we making today, Jessica? So today, I'm going to be showcasing the special dessert that we are going to be doing in Cedar and Stone. Okay. Um, this is at the JW Marriott Minneapolis. So this is a sample of the dessert. Look at so that. So here, everything you see is edible. Everything there? Everything there, down to the chocolate clock with hand painted little Roman numerals. Look we at have... it. Let me see. Let me turn this before Director Steve switches. Look at this, everybody. Look how that is beautiful. Look at that. So this is all edible. So what I did was I focused on red velvet, red okay. velvet cream cheese icing. You cannot go wrong. No, so... oh, no, I won't object to that. No. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is what I call the cake pop ball drop. Okay. And what we're going to be demoing is how to make the cake pop and okay. how to temper chocolate at home. Um, how also... to temper chocolate. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's one of the biggest things. What does it mean? Like melting, basically? It is. It is melting. It's a little bit more complex of a process, but if you know you go to the store, you buy the chocolate. Um, here I just have, it's the Hershey's chocolate that you get at the store. Okay. Uh, for those of you at home, you ever notice when you melt chocolate in the microwave, it kind of gets stiff, it kind of yeah. gets clumps up. So the secret is, you take any cooking oil that you have, any cooking oil. Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what. Just okay. regular, I have vegetable oil here, you add a little bit. When the chocolate gets thick, it's struggling for moisture. It needs that moisture. So that oil is that fattiness, because store-bought chocolate tends to be less fatty. It doesn't have as much cocoa butter content. So by adding a little uh. bit of oil here, you're adding that fat back to the chocolate, so it's going to make it more liquid, it's going to make it more versatile, and it's not going to be a block. When I melt chocolate, I don't use the microwave. I just, on the stove, double water boiler, put it there, just takes a few seconds, melts right away, nice and easy. You don't want it to be too hot. And the oil really doesn't affect the flavor of the chocolate nope, at all? Nope, not at all. And it actually, for cake pops, it works way better because that way it makes it more fluid. So when you dip the pop, it's... Easy Look at money. That. Look at the little Jessica Quiet secret. Exactly. I love that. This is my secret. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. So, so we're, let's now. So we have the chocolate, and now we're gonna make the pop. This is your part right oh, here. Oh, okay. I get to do this. So we have red velvet cake crumbs here. So all we did was bake red velvet cake. You have a glazing rack or a wire rack at home. You just run the cake through. You can use your hands. You can. Oh, to get a ground up. Okay, got yep. it, got it, got so it. So okay. this is this is just the cake crumbles. Okay. And here we have cream cheese icing. Do I just eat this, or what do I do with this? See, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. We have we call it quality control. You got to taste what you eat. You yes. know, everybody does. So what you're gonna do? You're just gonna add a scoop of the cream cheese icing to here. And just then, a scoop. Yep. Okay. Just right in there. Get a perfect one there. Okay. That is beautiful. That's good. I love just it. Right there. Right there. Okay. Here and what do are. I do? And I just stir. Mix it together. Mix yep. it together. Okay. Perfect. Now, see this. You, I know it's a little, little. Uh, it's a little cliche. You can do this with your kids, but you really could do this with your kids. Yeah. I think they would get a kick out of this. Okay. I don't know. I don't have kids. I'm just saying. I'm just guessing there. Yeah. I don't have. They little... would, because it's fun. It's easy, and it makes it makes for a delicious, delicious item. Okay. I'm mixing here. Now, what do I do? Okay. Keep mixing. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. There this... we go. Okay. There we go. Through the magic of TV, Beautiful. as our friend Alex Kendall Love says. It. There we go. Okay. Now, awesome. Now you can wear the gloves if you'd like, because we're going to. We're gonna what? We're gonna roll it up. We're gonna roll it up. Okay. This is the fun part. Oh, this is okay. So I always put these on backwards. Okay. <laughs> so the name of the dessert is cake pop ball drop. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and do that? I'll just yeah 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 yeah. Okay. There wow. we go. Thank you, audience. There we go. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we roll these up. We have about a minute left. Perfect. So. Perfect amount of time. Perfect. All you want to do, just roll it up into little balls. Okay. Just like this. Okay, roll it up in a little ball. Okay. We're going to take our stick. Now you want to dip this stick oh. a little bit in chocolate. Okay. So that way, when you dip it into the ball, it adheres to the ball. Oh, another little trick. Okay. That's another little trick. Boom. Boom. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead. In our tempered chocolate here, we're gonna go ahead and dip it. It's best when you make the balls, you wanna put them in the freezer so that way they set up. They're they gonna, firm up, okay? Exactly. So that way when you dip them, they don't roll away everywhere. 
Roll it around. You roll it around. Okay. It's going to roll around. And the tempered chocolate. Exactly. Fancy word for melted. Fancy, fancy word. Yes, I love it. Okay. But and so oh, that again, one fell apart. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. It's all good. It That's... happens. And then you dump, you dump it in there. Exactly. And, and then it looks like that. Exactly. Now, it's, just, it's crazy how it happens. It's a crazy. You get the fancy. May I, may I taste that? May I, can I eat that? Oh, my gosh. Please. Okay. And should I tell the audience? Should I tell Ooh. them right now? Or should we make them wait? You audience, go. you're all going home with one from our friends at Cedar Stone. Can I just eat this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. So, on your little takeaways. I really hate to eat this. The producer wants me to eat this. This is so. Oh, forget it. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'll be it's, finishing that after the show. It's official. It's official. It's officially New Year's. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Jessica from Cedar and Stone in Bloomington. Thank you. Go visit. I love Cedar and Stone again in the JW at the Mall of America. Beautiful. If you're looking for a great, like, romantic spot, go to the, go to the JW. Go to Cedar and Stone.